Why do so many Ghanaians fear Nogokpo? At the mention of Nogokpo, every knee must bow. At the mention of Nogokpo, truth spills, feet shiver, and hearts tremble. Welcome to the Oracle, and today, we are discussing the iconic Nogokpo, a name everybody in Ghana has heard before. Before we begin, make sure you are subscribed to the Oracle to see all our future videos. Widely known for its efficacy in giving instant justice to wrongdoers, the deity Nogokpo is by far one of the most popular and fearsome shrines in Ghana and Africa. It is believed to have originated from Agbozome in the Volta region of Ghana. History has it that the deity came into being after a heated squabble between the town folks in Agbozome and their chief. Out of nowhere, the deity emerged and the squabble was settled. Nogokpo is all in one, a deity, a shrine and a community. The deity Nogokpo is found in the sacred Nogokpo shrine and the shrine is found in the Nogokpo community. Like the name Nogokpo, which means stay in peace, the inhabitants of Nogokpo are generally peaceful and welcoming to all who have good intentions and are pure of heart. But if you intend malice or wrongdoing, you dare not try it in Nogokpo. Yeah, actually, I can say the, 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 the shrine used to, to kill, but it kill because of what you does, not just to kill you. Maybe you have so something or you have offended somebody, or you, has, or you are lying. So they brought the case here, the shame has killed you. It is reported that the town records zero cases of theft or false accusations for fear of being summoned to the deity. If you left money on the ground in Nogupo and come back a month later, it would still be there, as nobody in the town dared take anything that doesn't belong to them. If anyone dares trespass or breach the peace and sanctity, it only takes a bottle of schnapps, a live animal and some eggs for justice to be served. In 2018, issues surrounding the gruesome accident which led to the death of pop star Ebony Reigns brought again another summoning to Nogopo. On the trip with Ebony was Lance Corporal Achuvondi, a military officer who was assigned to the songstress. The family of Lang's Corporal Vondé did not take the death lightly. Believing the death of their relative to be caused by unnatural forces, they declared publicly that they were going to summon anyone they believed had a hand in his death to the Nogopo Shrine. The news of the summoning sent shivers down the spines of many. The uncle of the deceased stated categorically that the commanding officer who assigned Vondi to Ebony was going to be summoned if he didn't own up publicly. According to him, their beloved son was not supposed to have been on that trip and it was for selfish reasons that Vondi was sent on the trip where he met his untimely death. As to whether or not the commander showed up to the summoning at Nogokpo, no one knows. But what is known is that a summon to Nogokpo will definitely yield results. Not surprising. Summonings to the deity Nogokpo seem to have yielded more results for the ordinary man than the law courts. People who feel unfairly treated by the law feel they have no other option but to summon their accusers and prosecutors to Nogokpo. During the recent Men's Gold Saga, which saw many investors lose their hard earned cash after the CEO, Nana Apia Mensa, failed to pay them their locked up funds, many investors threatened to take him and his family to Nogokpo. Whichever way you look at it, whether you believe in spirits or not, many people simply fear Nogopo and the name can be used to scare people from wrongdoing. But what do you think? Do you believe all the stories being told about Nogokpo or not? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe for more fun and engaging content. See you in the next video.